What's up fam, it's your big bro Joy. Welcome back to the channel. Much love and light to everybody out there and I hope you guys are having a blessed and wonderful day. All right, uh, before we get started, let's go ahead and clear this energy out. Let's get the energy cleared. Hidden enemies unseen to the eye, which done in the dark will be brought to light. Everything you've sinned is yours to own. I send it all back and secure my throne. Return to sender respectfully. Okay, you guys, I was playing around with this new deck that I got. Um, it's called Q Cards. All right, Q Cards. And I got this message. I don't really truly know. I, I didn't I didn't really delve into it, but we're going to delve into it today. Um, I got a message here that um, I think I got to figure it out. Um, Cause I just glanced at it a little bit, but yo, let me tell you, let me show you what we got. First and foremost, thank y'all for being here. Thank y'all for your likes and subscribing to the channel and um, your positive comments and sharing, you know, sharing your stories with me and also being a positive contribution to the collective. Thank y'all. I really do appreciate that. Okay. Um, so the first cards that uh, came out were. Um, this could be bad. Yeah, this kind of threw me off. I'm like, bitch, the first card that I get, get out of this deck is this. <laughs> like, what the hell? So <laughs> this could be bad. And then we got Encounter. Okay. And then um, on the bottom of that shuffle was Twist of Fate. Okay. And then I did another shuffle. What came out was... Stormy, I told him to tell me, tell me about this encounter, okay? So I got Stormy Weather. I got Watch Your Back. Ugh, Watch Your Back. Ugh. And then I got Messenger. Uh, yeah, Messenger, Good News. And then on the bottom of the deck was Jackpot. Y'all know we be having similar themes similar themes because something about to pop off or something is already popping off in the collective okay um you know what before we start this i'm gonna go ahead and give y'all a um a message from this deck um let me give y'all a, a overall pop damn overall positive message we're gonna take the one that flew over there they said they this card keeps coming out. I swear to God, this is a whole big old full deck. This is a whole deck full of cards, but this one keeps coming out. It came out on the other channel, on um, Psychic as Fuck Tarot. It came out on that channel, and now it's coming out again. It came out over here before. I forgot what reading it was, but now it's coming out again. I love and approve of myself. Somebody needs to hear this message that I love and approve of myself. The questions that you should ask yourself right now is, in what ways am I compassionate to myself and others? How am I living life according to my own terms? This is just telling you to not be ashamed of who you are. You feel me? Love and approve of yourself, every aspect of yourself. And don't allow nobody else to make you feel like it's something wrong with you. You feel me? I know I got to get my aromatherapy. But yeah, don't. Uh, let anybody else make you feel like there's something wrong with you or that you should be ashamed of, of being who you are, you know, because that's not the case, baby. Spirit is telling you to love and appreciate yourself, who you are, you know. Um, but there's going to be. Ooh, whoa, this card is dropping all over the place, yo. This is another deck that I haven't even pulled cards from and these cards just fell out on the floor. This six cards that came out. Wow. Ooh, ooh okay. I'm going to go with it. <laughs> We're going to go with it. Yo. Success is getting ready to pop off, definitely. Because look right here. Um, what we said before, there's uh, jackpot. Okay, we got jackpot. Twist of fate. So something is going to go in your favor. Something that you thought wasn't really going in your favor is going to turn out to your advantage. And good news, Messenger. This is about some success that's about to pop off for you, especially with this jackpot card. Its success is on its way, right? 
and spirit. Oh, and look right here. Money. Did it say money? Yeah. Money. <laughs> Trying to make sure that shit said money. Money. It's about money, success with money, success with abundance. You guys are vibing towards a lot of abundance right now in your life. And I feel like whatever is taking place in your life, whatever is going on, it may be overshadowing what is truly taking place right now. And see, a lot of times we could be, we can have our mind focus on when things don't go right, right? When things don't go right, we can have our mind heavily focus on that. And we might not be be cognizant to be present present enough to, to 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 understand or to see that hey things are changing the winds are changing you know um, the situation is changing the situation is evolving right and that's what I feel is happening right here right and I love and approve of myself this is about your inner child we might have our parents might have told us some things that aren't necessarily true or hold us back or make us feel like that we're not good enough, right? But we are good enough, right? I feel, I, this is making me, this is giving, like, making me feel like some of us that we have to reparent ourselves. And when I say reparent ourselves, that's tell us ourselves all the right things, right? Because we may be suffering from some inner child wounding right now. Those of us who have suffered from inner child wounding, and a lot of us do, like, it ain't, Shit is not uncommon, you know, but in a child wounding, we have to tell ourselves on a daily basis that, uh, you know, I love you, you know, tell yourself I love you and that tell yourself that you approve of yourself. Right. Because there's going to be so many people that come into our lives that are working extra hard to put us back into an energy that we were in um, as a kid. Like we felt like maybe we felt abandoned or maybe we felt that, that we weren't. Um, heard or listened to or are seen as important or uh, valued, you know. But this, the message here is telling you to value yourself, okay? And I, I, and I feel like part of this storm, part of this stormy weather is ourselves, right? Part of this stormy weather is the fact that some of us can be our own worst enemy by thinking the negative thinking negative or even uh viewing ourselves in a negative way or selling ourselves short and not aiming high enough um or even uh vibing low being pessimistic you know what i'm saying and, and, and aligning ourselves with other people who may just make things worse right those people who prove to you all the negative things you think about yourself like let's say if you, your parents may have made you feel like you weren't worthy. So we meet people in our uh, later years. If we haven't healed those wounds, we meet people in our later years that uh, really serve as confirmation that we're not worthy. If we're telling ourselves that, right? That's what we got to get out of, get out of our, get get that out of our system or, or, or address it and heal it. You know? Hmm. We got health here health I feel like us being our own worst enemies have somewhat affected our health and also the situations that we allowed ourselves to be in like hanging around the wrong type of people you know low vibing people people who don't love themselves or people who look at us as targets or as prey okay whether this is in um, a relationship like a romantic relationship or whether it's in um, familial uh, connection or whether it's a uh, platonic connection, right? Some of us maybe have been experiencing health issues as well, right? That come from anxiety, that comes from not really taking care of your body, not really eating the right things, you know? I know some people be getting triggered by when people say not eating the right things. That's your business, you know what I'm saying? Don't Don't come at me like that. Talk to your mom, your dad, you feel me? They're the ones who brought you into this world. So, but this is about, I feel like things are getting ready to turn around for, me, for you. I feel like you guys may have been having some people around you who are trying to attack you. You know what I'm saying? Or who have been annoyances. Uh, if you look at this, it says watch your back, but it has a mosquito with a fly swatter or a fly with a fly swatter, whatever you call it. You feel me? 
The only difference from flies and mosquitoes are mosquitoes going to draw a little blood. Flies, not, not, not so much. But either way, this is... I feel like these are minor disturbances, minor things that, you know what I'm saying, that might just throw you out of balance or might just give you a little headache. But you can, being that it's a fly swatter, you can easily get rid of that. You can easily get rid of it. But something is getting ready to pop off some event. It's like get ready for the main event. Something and it says this could be bad, which I didn't like. I didn't like this. I didn't like this. This could be bad. I So I feel like... Something is, there's different scenarios that I'm picking up here, right? Something could be about to pop off, some event. Somebody could visit you, anything, right? I'm going to pull clarifiers on that too. But somebody could be coming into your life um, to cause some chaos, cause some, some confusion, right? But I, I feel that a lot of us will look at the situation like it's bad, but it's going to be a twist of fate. And that's what I like about it. Like, just when we thought, oh, my God, like, let's say if you like somebody, they like you or whatever. And then you find some, you find out something bad. Right. Or somebody approaches you and you like, oh, my God, this is going to be bad. This could be bad or whatever. Right. And you don't know what's going to happen. I feel that. We may be thinking the negative, thinking the worst when this person approaches us or when this event takes place, but it's not really as bad as it looks, right? Because it's going to bring in this twist of fate with this, uh, and it has dice. So um, either you're going to take a gamble or you have taken a gamble. Somebody else could have taken a gamble or there's just this is just the cards are falling in your lap, in your favor, right? The tables are turning in your favor. But I feel like it's one of those moments to where um, you have a tower moment. And you're like, oh, my God, this is so bad. And that tower moment happens to shake you up, right, to shake up the situation and to get you to look at things differently or to tear down something that's not really healthy for you. But this tower moment, when the dust settles, you're going to see something going in your favor, right? And you're going to see it's going to be followed up by good news, right? Or it could be that for some of y'all that something happens that annoys you from another person. Somebody visits you, really makes you uh, address and pick up some of these old childhood wounds, right? Makes you feel inadequate. Try to make you feel like you're not worthy, right? They make you feel that way, right? And this could be somebody that you're banking on, somebody that you wanted to have in your life or somebody that you depended on or somebody that you who you looked up to in some sort of way. And it's like that uh, confusion or that 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 moment when they stepped into your life and then they told you something bad or they they gave you some sort of disappointment, it's going to turn out in your favor. For some of y'all, I feel it's going to be a, a ha-ha. Instead of an aha moment, it's going to be a ha-ha moment, right? This is it's giving me the vibes of that person who turned you down, who rejected you. Because they didn't really see the gem and the diamond who that you were, right? They didn't see the diamond in the rough, right? So they rejected you or they played you to the left or they chose another person over you. Or they just walked away from you and had you there feeling, you know, some kind of way, right? But then it turns around. You about to hit a jackpot, right? You about to hit the lottery or something awesome is about to happen for you that people in your circle are going to know about or hear about or see. You having some sort of... Um, Level up, right? You having some sort of blessing that hits you, hits you, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just when you thought like, damn, like, wow, why did this have to happen to me? And then, then right around the corner, bam, you get crowned, you get your crown back, you know, whether you're queen or king, you get your crown back. And then this motherfucker going to double back and be like, what the hell did I just do? Did I just turn a queen down? Did I just turn a king down? This mofo... Is abundant, is successful, hitting the jackpot, going viral or something like that. If that 
if that's your thing, you feel me? Um, having a money making opportunity. Hell, for some of you guys, winning the lottery. Who knows? Coming across a coming across some money or meeting somebody who's gonna change your life for the better. Spirit is saying, yeah, they may have given up on you, but don't you give up on yourself because it's not over. Just because something doesn't go your way, it's not over. Something There's something that is not going your way for a reason because it's meant for this element to come out of your life. It's meant for this person or, or place or thing, whatever the hell it is, to be removed from your life. All right? Because whatever this is, whoever this person is... It's not somebody who needs, who deserves a place in your life. You feel me? It's not somebody who deserves a place in your life. This is somebody who's annoying. This is somebody who's going to be a hindrance to you or some situation that is going to hold you back. And we don't need, when we vibing towards the, a jackpot, when you vibing towards a jackpot, when the stars are aligning for you to win and win big for some of us, you feel me? When the stars align like that, when the stars align for this success to take place, for your bag to increase, you to get this unexpected money, because I'm here for some of y'all unexpected windfalls. And it's so funny that I'm saying windfall because these cards, I got this deck sitting right here. This is, by the way, this is a um, spiritual queen oracle cards. I had this deck sitting at the bottom of the table and they were just sitting right there, right? And my hand knocked over these cards here that we're reading right now. You feel me? So something unexpected is about to happen. Just something, <clears throat> something shocking might take place with the stormy weather, like I said. But it's for your own good. It's to set you up. It's to, and I'm here for some of y'all. It's to remove people from your life. Or to, to, to shine a light on a situation to, so you can save yourself or you can remove a, a certain bad element from your life who doesn't belong there. Who should not partake in this jackpot or this success, this money that's coming for you. Spirit wants you guys to stay in a state of gratitude, okay? You see what we got right here? These When I saw... When I saw this, this could be bad card. It just kind of like, oh, Lord, here we go. What's about to pop off? What is this? But then when I read everything, it's like, this is not bad because you're going to get good news. You may be thinking this could be you sitting at your office, in your office, and your boss comes up to you with a straight face, stern. And like, um, I'm going to need to talk to you for a minute, please. Because you come to my office, you're like, oh, shit, what happened? I'm about to get laid off. I'm about to get fired. What took place? I'm about to get written up. Something bad about to happen. And then they call you in the office and they tell you that um, they're going to give you a raise. Or they're going to give you a promotion. Or they're telling you that, hey, we're going to open another branch in another city. We want to know if you are you interested and to move into another, you know, city, another state and do this. And you're like, hell yeah. But whatever it is, it's going to be good news. I feel like you guys have some people who are going to be jealous of this news, right? I'm still, I'm still, my eyes are still focusing on this right here. It's like, you know, have some people who are jealous of this good news that you have, but it's, it is what it is. But just like this is a, a fly swatter, you just swat them out the wind, you keep it moving, right? You keep it moving. It's time for you guys to focus on taking care of your health. When it, it could come down to what you eat, diet, exercise, meditation is coming through very, very strongly. Clear your mind. You're going to need to have, because I'm hearing, elevate your mind, free your soul, keep the feeling, let your body take. I feel like. They say, but let your body take control. So I feel like that you guys need to calm yourself down. You need to meditate and you need to balance yourself out during this time. Okay. For some of y'all, this could take place. And I'm looking on the bottom of this deck. Some of y'all, this could be about your career, about positive changes about to happen in your career or something that you want to do. Let me pull another one from this deck. Since y'all wanted to, since this deck wanted to take over the reading, this deck wanted to take over. But I feel like you guys need to take care of it. Yeah, look, 
relax. Spirit is telling y'all, y'all need to relax. And I feel like you need to relax so that you can uh, make the best decision for yourself with this news or whatever is being presented to you, right? So you don't stress yourself out and make the wrong decision, right? What we got right here? Spirit guys, yeah, your spirit guys are trying to contact you. Your spirit guys are there with you trying to guide you on the right path. Trying to tell you, because this could, this could be multiple options what i'm getting with this twisted fate this could be multiple options something i'm hearing for some of y'all some sort of dream that you had maybe getting ready to pick back up okay and you're gonna want to pay attention to your spirit guys at this time pay attention to uh the what is this yeah pay attention to the guidance that you're receiving at this time okay because what's coming for you this success with money success and jackpot good news a twist of fate what's coming for you is ultimately going to put you in alignment with your purpose so you are going to ultimately end up being happy you're going to feel good about the whole process right so it's not I feel like in some ways we could be like our own worst enemies and, and, and seeing the bad and things that and we're not looking at the positive. What energy is being brought in here? You know what? Let me pull. Uh, let me use this energy oracle card. What is this? What's going on? What's this? Tell us about this encounter. What's going on? Ooh, for some of y'all, it could be a woman or somebody leading with their feminine energy it doesn't have to be a woman it could be a man you feel me um but this is somebody presenting a love offer to you for some of you guys this encounter could be some sort of offer this could be a love offer for some of y'all and this could be a business offer for some of you guys either way whatever offer is coming the person who's bringing it to you has love respect for you right this could just be hey yo i got this like i said i got this job position for you you feel me Whoever it is, the person that's coming towards you, and we had thinking woman on the bottom of the deck, so that this person has been thinking about you for a long time, okay? But like I said, this person can be ready to, to give you something, right? And this is going to open up a hell of a lot of uh, possibilities for you guys with uh, the world energy here, okay? Let me uh, look at this guide right here for this deck. Cause I don't really work with this deck too much, but yeah, this one, third chakra is about the solar plexus. All right. It's this Archangel Chamuel. It's holding a beautiful spear of golden light at the solar plexus, which is a location of your third chakra. Um, what is this saying? Telling us this is a great time to move forward. No, no, no. Mm. To move toward the completion of your desires. Your life force is vibrating with power and resonance. And your soul is calling you to direct your energy in a focused, purposeful manner. See, we're talking about the purpose again, right? This angel of power is with you now, so go for it, right? The issues here uh, revolve around emotions of desire and your personal energy. When it, this card appears upright, it indicates an increase of enthusiasm um, is present or soon to be on the way. So this is going to give you, it's going to give you like your second wind, right? Y'all might have been feeling depressed. You might have been feeling down. You might not have known what's going on. But things are getting ready to pick up for you guys, right? And I feel like a lot of doors that were closed for you guys were journey. A lot of doors is getting ready to open up for you guys. The possibilities are unlimited for you guys to what you can experience or what you can achieve, all right? What else we got here? Hmm. We got journey. Yeah, so you guys are getting ready to go on some sort of journey. You got you about to have some sort of forward movement for yourself, right? We got the hostility cards here, which talks about watching your back because there's going to be some hating ass mofos who are not going to like the do not going to uh, like the fact that you guys are elevating, right? That you get into the money. You saw it. That you get into the money or that you you having some some sort of success. If you want a job, it may be some coworkers who feel like you don't deserve that promotion or you don't deserve that raise. But you moving towards victory anyways, they're not gonna, whatever's coming for y'all with this 
encounter is going to leave you victorious. Period. You run, you moving towards a victory. You know, you know what I'm saying? And then we got deceit on the bottom of the deck. I don't know about that. But we're going to see. I want to make it one of those types of readings because I like what the, the energy is right now. Let me pull another one of these cue cards. Tell me about this deceit. Or about what the hell we should know about. Love. Power. Mend a relationship. Mm. Love. It's about love. Some of you guys may have been at odds with somebody. This could be a friendship. This could be a love. Okay. This could be a, a family member. Okay. But I feel like the more you guys stand in your power. Okay. The more things are going to work out for you. I feel like for some of you guys, you may feel like some sort of connection between you and another person is over with. And maybe you, did, you didn't want it to, be, it to be over with. But I see something. There's going to be a resurgence. For some of you guys, this could be a, um, a reconciliation that you want to have with another person. Hell, some of y'all could be your mom. You feel me? I don't know where that came from. But this could be you guys meeting for coffee or just having that conversation. Okay, something going right, something that you thought was over, that you thought was bad. Maybe you thought this person was getting ready to to to, to approach you, okay, for an argument when they really weren't. You know what I'm saying? When they were trying to trying to mend the connection between you guys. Maybe you thought they was coming you coming to you with some BS, but they were here to mend it, to mend things. Maybe you don't know that because. Because you had guys had some, you know, some tough times together, okay? Y'all had some beef, arguments and whatnot, and that's what you're expecting from this person. You're not expecting things to to heal, right? But things are expect expect the unexpected with twisted with twist of fate, expect the unexpected here, okay? Because you about to get some good news. Whatever it is, you're about to get some good news, and that's all that matters to me. You getting this good news, like news, getting this good news, order in court. Come through with the good news. That's what we like. Let me uh, get some more energy here. I like this jackpot, y'all. I like this money, 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 money. You know. Success, money, pay attention to your spirit, guys. I'm going to leave those right there. Victory. I'm about to pull some cards from the um, color. Cold colors deck. Poverty was on the bottom of the deck. So for some of you guys, if you have been struggling with money, struggling with finances, that is going to be changing. Expect to see a healing in that area. Talking about expect to see healings, I'm going to use... I'm going to pull y'all some cards from the, the good things that, yeah, blocks. You may have been dealing with some sort of blocks, and I feel like those blocks are going away, right? You guys are getting good news, and finally, I'm moving forward. So if you if you felt like the odds were stacked against you, it, your story's not over. It's not over for you. You feel me? Those were all illusions. Those were all people were trying to get you to feel that to give up on life. Try to get you to say it's over with. There's nothing that I could do, so I give up. They wanted you to surrender. But no, Spirit is like, you ain't surrendering, you feel me? You're coming together with somebody. Some of y'all, you guys are, are partnering with somebody, right? This is a long-term friendship with marriage. It is actual marriage. It is getting engaged. It is, uh, you know, patching things up, you know, having a reconciliation, healing the connection. It can mean so many different things. It can mean you coming together on a business opportunity. You getting a job. You know what I'm saying? If you're looking for one. But either way, 
something that you thought was over with spirit is like no that was just an illusion right the block yeah because whatever it was it was just illusion you weren't in your right mind because it could have been because of things that were going on in the background you know what i'm saying y'all know that mind manipulation that thought implantation those kind of vibes spell work all of that bs that makes you think that life is a certain way when it's not really that way when you could have so much more okay when you are vibing towards victory all right and where's this world card where's the world card yeah, because that's what's sticking out to me, too. When there's so many different uh, doors that are opening up for you guys and you just don't realize it, right? So what I get from this also, too, is that you need to practice positive thinking and expecting the best instead of expecting the worst. I know it's easier based off of the things that we go through in life. It's, it's hella easy for us to just expect the worst. You know what I'm saying? But no, why don't you challenge yourself and expect the best for yourself for once in your life? You feel me? Challenge yourself and expect the best. Oh, wow. A car makes... Oh, a visit. Yo, a message. Look at his confirmation, y'all. A message. We got a message. Look at this right here. A visit. What do we start off with? We started off with... An encounter. This could be bad. This could be with a comp. Somebody you had. Oh my God. Hiya. <laughs> Yo. Hi. Oh my God. Yo. Um. Mm. Y'all don't look at. Y'all don't see the synchronicity. Look at this right here. This could be bad encounter. Look at this visit. A welcome visitor will arrive soon. A meeting. So you're having a meeting with somebody so that when it says a welcome, these are the good things. I mean that something good is going to take place, not something bad. Even if you have beef with somebody, this they're not bringing you nothing bad. You feel me? Because look, this could be somebody coming to you saying, yo, I'm sorry for what I did. And I wish you have a nice life. Or you doing the same thing to them. You know, are you giving... You having that chance to actually have a conversation or, or hash out your differences and to see where it could go. For some of you guys, it could just be the end of things. You know, you have enclosure um, and you letting bygones be bygones and you're no longer pissed off at that person or carrying that baggage to your future. For some of y'all, it could be y'all mending things and build, rebuilding your connection with another person. You feel me? But this is talking about a karmic cycle. So this cycle is a karmic cycle finally ending. So you could be saying goodbye to a person finally, right? Or you could be starting a new chapter with that person. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just up to what resonates in your life or what's meant for you, right? This talks about new beginnings and, and lessons learned. So you no longer have to go through that same situation with another person. Finally, and I feel like what was the coffin? Okay. What is that shit? The nail, the nail, the final nail in the coffin. It, what sealed the deal for you and what finally, finally is allowing you to learn your lesson is for you to love and approve of yourself first and not look for that love uh, from other people. And also for you, for you guys to finally heal this uh, inner child um, wounds, you know, from the past. Right. So congratulations to you guys who've been doing the work. You know, you've been doing the work and it shows in this reading. And then we got messages. A welcome message will arrive soon. Communication. Yeah. A welcome message. Okay. And it says you are given responsibility. You are given a position of leadership, confidence, and power. Didn't I tell you guys about somebody here is getting promoted? Some, some of y'all is getting promoted. Some of y'all, if you were in a karmic connection and you truly love that person, that's going to be not for a lot of people. But your 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 um, connection is being promoted out of a karmic uh, connection and more so into a, a more positive soul uh, soulmate type of connection, right? We rarely see stuff like that happening. Rarely. Let me pull a couple cards. I don't know why I'm going to pull something from this Blessed Be deck.
Wow. Some of you guys have been searching, searching, hoping for the truth in the situation to finally gain closure, to finally end a cycle with a person, place or thing, whatever it is. But this is a blessing to find the truth, the truth, some truth that's been kept from you, that you needed, that kept you held back. is finally coming out into the open. Somebody's finally revealing some information to you. OK, what's on the bottom of this deck? A blessing for support. You guys have love and support around you too. Some of y'all may have been feeling like you know you're left out in the cold. And you got a blessing for ooh, okay. Okay. Y'all, we ain't finna pull. I'm not pulling all these cards. Too many cards. But yo, look. A blessing to ease loneliness and bring companionship. <laughs> y'all see what I'm talking about? Support. So when this karmic cycle is so so for some of y'all the scenario i got is that you about to end the karmic cycle with a karmic a person right and y'all gonna be it's gonna be amicable you know what i'm saying y'all not gonna be like f you f you da, da, da. it's gonna be like you know everybody let bygones be bygones i'm sorry i'm sorry moving move right along right you taught me this you taught me that da, da, da. moving right along right some of y'all this could happen energetically some of y'all this could happen face to face but either way, what this whole event is setting you up for is for the right people to finally come into your life. This is a blessing for support and a blessing to ease loneliness and bring companionship for you to finally have. Y'all see, we just got that notification. That is confirmation. And then we got a, a blessing on a resolution. So something is being resolved, right? For some of you guys, like I said before, this person who you had an issue with, y'all may be getting ready to be on the same page and getting ready to pop, start something healthy off together, right? For some of y'all, you will be saying goodbye and then that person who's meant for you is going to show up in your life. But either way, there's a blessing for a companionship and support coming into your life, period. I don't care who it is. Either way, it is a blessing for somebody to show up or people to show up in your life who are companionship, who you can live your life out with, who you can actually talk to, who you could go hang out with, whether it is friends or whether it is uh, lovers. You know what I'm saying? You could talk to, you could have a connection with and you could, you know, make memories with and build, build healthy connections with. Right. People who will support you, not people who, who come in your life, bring you chaos and confusion. This is healthy love, healthy vibrations. Good vibrations is coming in for you guys, right? So when y'all see this person approaching y'all, y'all be like, oh, Lord, here it is, motherfucker. Here it is, person, though. It's happening for a good reason, right? It could have been a test for you guys all along. Let me pull a soul tribe message for you guys. Oh, you know what? Since... I feel like this might bring a little anxiety. Let's pull up. Let's pull um a less anxiety affirmation card first, and then I'll give you guys this soul tribe message. Let's do that. Damn, can I shuffle this? Alright. Carl was like, no, I wasn't made to be shuffled. Yeah, we about to shuffle you today, baby. What we got? What do we have here? What do we need to know from this deck, please? Wow, wow, y'all! You can't make this stuff up. Look with it. Look, look at this, y'all. You can't make this up. I am worthy. You can't make it up. Spirit, the Most High, whatever it is, you we ain't going through that motherfucking list. Yo, Spirit wants you to know that you're worthy. You feel me? You're worthy. It is hard to accept things as they are, but if I could do that, it would set me free. This is the way things are now. This is telling you how to be present 
and to accept things for what it is, right? Some of y'all is, is holding out for connections with people who ain't good for you or who is not doing you right or who's constantly ignoring you and devaluing you and really and showing you over and over that they don't give a fuck about this connection. You feel me? Spirit wants you to see, this, take the rose colored glasses off and see things for how they really are, you know? Accept it for what it is. Call a spade a spade. Take the glasses off and, just, and be comfortable with accepting things the way that, that, that it is. For some of y'all, you may not want to accept the fact that maybe somebody is sorry and maybe that you still can build a healthy connection together. Whatever it is for you guys, whether it is it's you coming back together with somebody and working things out and resolving issues and continuing on with that person or you parting ways and going your separate ways and whatnot. Either way, see things for what they are, right? And then we have happiness is found in the present moment. So Spirit wants you to be present for the now, not think about what they did back in the days or what took place, what so-and-so did to you back in the days. And now that's why you can't trust people or you're not allowing yourself to love people. We're not. We're talking about focusing on today. It is not to discount the things that happened to us in the past. It's to tell you and show you that those things have already happened and that even though it's kind of hard for us to shake it and break it, those chains sometimes, that we should not be living in the past. That has already happened. We need to heal ourselves from that, address it and heal ourselves in whatever way that we can do, heal ourselves and to, to move on from it and cut ties with it so that we can be present in the now and we can take advantage of what's going on here and now what's available to us now, okay? For some of you guys, you have to forgive people and I'm not saying, when I say forgive people, I am not telling you to call them and say, yo, let's go get some coffee at Starbucks, da da da, whatever. No, I'm telling you, you got to energetically forgive people for yourself, right? You don't even have to have a conversation with them to forgive people. But you need to forgive people for whatever part they played in whatever scenario in the past that you're stuck and blocked, that, that are, that's affecting you now, today. And you need to also forgive yourself for the part that you played, all right? And to stop blaming and blaming yourself, blaming whatever, just you have to and I'm speaking from experience, okay? There's nothing better than letting go of grudges. You know what I'm saying? That you held for years and years and years. Especially if it comes from your parent. It comes from your uh, a family member or a best friend or whatever the hell it is. Ain't nothing better than freeing yourself from that and not allowing that person, that place, that thing, or that moment to have control over your life to 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 dominate your life you know sometimes we are so busy holding grudges against people that we don't realize the effect or the power and the control and the hold that these people hold that's my whole the hold that these people have over us right but when you take your power back you release that hold that they have on you and you no longer waste your energy on having a grudge against that person you heal yourself Right. That's where the true power comes in. Right. That's where the true strength uh, show of strength happens. All right. It says happiness is found in the present moment. I just need to be present here. See and sense this right here is my life. Spirit one shot. I ask you, what is your life? Right. Right now, today. Your natural life, what happened in 1986, what happened in motherfucking 2000, what happened in 1976 or whatever the hell, you know? No. This is what happened, what's happening for you right now, presently, right? That's where your mind needs to be and that's where you need to be taking advantage of every opportunity and every moment that you have for the here and now. Let me get your soul tribe message and then we'll close this out. Spirit says, tune out anything low vibrational. That's even those experiences from the past that's keeping you trapped, keeping you stuck, stagnant, keeping you from moving forward. If it's low vibrational, tune it out, okay? On the bottom of the deck, we have, you need to man up. Yeah, Spirit is like, yo, you need to man up. 
there's no excuse. Like, you can't... There's no excuse that you should be trying to use uh, to keep... Stay stuck and stagnant in the past or stay, you know, stuck in yesterday of what we're in to, to keep yourself from moving forward. There's no excuse in the book that you should be using, you know? Tune out anything low vibrational and you need to man up. It's time for you to start doing doing what you need to do. Stop second guessing yourself. Stop saying you can't do something. Stop uh, uh, being scared, procrastinating. I'm going to do it tomorrow. I'm going to do it tomorrow. I'm going to do it next week. Da -da -da. I'm going to do it next year. Da -da. No, the time is now, right? It says this right here is my life. Not tomorrow, not two weeks from now, not next year. This right here, right now, right? I got good things coming down the pipeline, but it's like, don't be your own worst enemy and mess it up for yourself, right? I'm here and go with the flow. Let, let things, let events play out like how they meant to play out. And you just go with the flow. All right, you guys, that's what I got for you guys in this reading. If you like it, like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. And if this resonated for you, please comment in the comment section down below and share your thoughts. Okay, if it resonated. Uh, much love and light to everybody out there. Y'all take care. Ciao.